Don't you love sister? Yeah. Anyways, you all know Paige, my Hello. sister. Her wonderful, <laughs> lovely, beautiful sister. younger sister, but much taller sister. Anyways, we're here to do a little question and answer. We asked you guys to send us questions on Instagram, so we are going to answer some of them. Yes. Let's get into it. I feel like I always do that. Right now, like she didn't have to come visit me. She voluntarily. She also lives in LA, so oh, I don't mean, let a free that... place to stay. <laughs> don't let that fool you. Um, but yeah, we're very close. I feel like we definitely got closer now that you don't live with me. Yeah. I mean, we've always been close. Well, Everyone... I feel like we have a very rare situation, like because yeah. being on the show, we were together all the time 24 7. so like it was like my worst nightmare at the time <laughs> because like imagine as the older sister spending every second of every day with your younger sister like that's not fun yeah but it did make us closer back then but we're definitely closer now yeah i think we were close back then but now it's more like we're friends like that was we were kind of forced to get yeah. along but now it's like we don't fight over clothes because you don't live with me and you're not annoying yeah. about that anymore. Oh, we so to, I feel like we, we don't always fight got as along. Much. Like we never really fought about anything other than clothes. Yeah. Because we were always the same size, but now she outgrew me. Yeah. And now she can't wear any of my clothes and I can't wear any of hers. So <laughs> Thank God. Yeah. So to answer your question, yes, we are close. You love to visit LA, but yeah. you couldn't live here. I love LA, but only to come for like I would come for like a week out of every month because like I do like it, but I think I love Pittsburgh. You're I like more having, chill. You yeah. like like I like having four seasons. Like I feel like it wouldn't be Christmas if it wasn't snowing. Yeah, you know? which I feel the same way. I think I'm just here kind of temporarily. Yeah. I don't plan on living here my entire life. I definitely once I have um a family if that ever happens for me. <laughs> I feel like LA is just very fast paced. Yeah, I mean, and I'm, I like like just with the driving and stuff like gives me anxiety. <laughs> like, yeah. I don't know. I definitely miss my friends and family in Pittsburgh. And so I don't know how much longer I'm gonna be here, but just making the most of it. Yeah. I can see her every day when she lived with me. Now it's not that often. Well, because... even then no, because I went to college and I was yeah. pretty much gone. And then I traveled a whole summer. Yeah. I moved here. So we haven't like actually yeah. lived together in a fat minute. She travels like crazy. You think even though she lives in LA, she <laughs> is. I look at her story and I'm like, oh, she's in Denver. Oh no, she's in Colorado. I'm like, can Colorado she just stay? Denver is in Colorado. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, you're the smartest sister. That would be me. <laughs> she did my anatomy homework last night <laughs> for two hours. She looked at me. And she's like, I hate my life. I'm like, as I'm doing your calculus homework. <laughs> Oh my god. Hopefully I don't get in trouble. <laughs> yeah, she did get 100%, I will say that. She yes. got the beauty, I got the brains. <laughs> um, you got a little beauty in there. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay, anyways. Um, so I feel like we definitely, it's pretty much just holidays, because she's at school. Yeah. So we see each other at Christmas time. I'm not even going home for Thanksgiving, but since I live here, she comes to visit more frequently. I mean, we talk, we FaceTime all the time and stuff. Yeah, so we it's talk not more like we than don't talk. When I was in college and she was at home in Pittsburgh, we definitely yeah, I would saw see each other you when you'd come home. Yeah, like, that was like yes. it. Now, yeah. like, we FaceTime each other, like, I'll call her randomly. Yeah, we definitely talk more. Yeah. Next question is Who got in the most trouble growing up? Oh my god, that is an easy one. Okay, first Are of all, you kidding me? I was an angel. No, no. Any yes. older sibling knows this. Go through all the struggle and like you're the first person to get caught sneaking out, the first person to get caught sneaking someone in, the first person to <laughs> lie about where you are. Well, and I'm guess who gets innocent. away with it because you dealt with it? You, the youngest no. child. She's lying because she's always been the troublemaker. She, my mom used to run around the house putting soap in her mouth and I used to be around crying. Be like, mom, please don't do it to her. Please, please don't do it to her. But she was always getting soap in her mouth. She was always getting in trouble. I was sassy. <laughs> but no, when it came to like high school shenanigans with like boys and whatnot, she got away with everything because I was the one that dealt with it. 
and you can't even say that's not true. <laughs> like, I'm the one who got our curfew. Later. Yeah, except I was still never allowed to have sleepovers. Yeah, cause <laughs> because she got in trouble and I was, I would be like 15 and my dad's like, you are not sleeping over. I'm like, I didn't do anything. Brooke ruined my sleepovers for me <laughs> as a child. <laughs> Which um, kind of runs into another question. Who would be most likely to get arrested? I think that is, we're equal. I, I was I gonna say, I think, we both, I think we would both get arrested and probably be in cells next to each other. Yeah, yeah pretty much. Honestly, I don't, I don't know. I don't think I could choose. Yeah, me Yeah, either. we'd be there side by side in the cells. Yeah, I agree. And another question is, do you have any other siblings? I feel like a lot of people do already know the answer to this question, but yes. we have a brother. He's in the middle of us. He's currently um, 21. I'm 20, he's 21, she's 22. So I will be 23 in a month though. Um, but yeah. A lot of people forget about him because he doesn't have any social media and people are like, what, you guys have a brother? It's usually just like the Highland sisters, but he does exist. He lives in Pittsburgh with our dad. I guess I guess Which, this question. can tie you to <laughs> yeah. Why does your mom live in Florida? Um, so I feel like this is kind of a subject that- I've gotten a lot of questions on. Yeah, um, our parents recently got separated. They're not yet divorced. We kind of like, I mean, we've already dealt with it personally and are actually very happy. They just were no longer good for each other and they're both happy doing their own things, which in turn makes us happy. Um, yeah, I, I think it's definitely for the best. I feel like a lot of people get upset when their parents get divorced. And at first it was like, this is gonna be so weird, but I think I'm much happier. And I feel like we're old enough to realize that like, yeah, they need to do what's best for them. And that makes us happier knowing that they're happy. Yeah. And so our mom lives in Florida because her dad lives there and we had a house there, so. Which makes it really cool because we get to go to Florida and yeah, Pittsburgh. Yeah, and now it's like Christmas, we get to go to Florida too and Pittsburgh, so yeah. it, it's nice. Yeah. And to kind of tie into that, it's also, they still get along and yeah. still a family. Dad goes to my mom's sister's every week for Sunday dinner yeah. still. Like it, there's no awkwardness, yeah. everyone We're gets along. We're all so really close, which is yeah. really nice. We got lucky. Yeah, I think that's important. Yeah. A lot. It. Yeah. A lot. I would not be sitting here doing this video if it were not for Dance Moms. Yeah, I think it's definitely changed it for the better. I think at first it was very I think stressful. Being it, in on the show was very stressful. But I and think now it we have so many benefits. Like we have all of our fans, which are amazing. So I think that's like the best thing that came out of it, but also we get to travel, like once once we got off the show, we were traveling to England and to all these different greets. places to meet you guys and do meet and greets. And I feel like we would never have that opportunity if it wasn't for the show. Yeah, I've gotten to meet a lot of amazing people. Yeah. I wouldn't be living here probably if not. It just introduced me to a lot of, I mean, it's a whole different lifestyle. Yeah. Um, but I feel like being on Dance Moms Alone taught me we were on it so young. It just taught me how to have like a work ethic, like time management, yeah. like how to balance work and a social life at that age. Like people don't see behind the scenes of how stressful it was actually being in school and having to, you see the cameras, but it's like, we still were having to do tutor sessions in between yeah. our dances. And it was very hard trying to keep up with schoolwork while you're trying to learn four dances a week, trying to go compete them. So it was very challenging, but I think it was definitely worth it. Yeah. Definitely had its pros and cons. Yeah. But now like I wouldn't change it. Like I don't regret being on it yeah, at all. Me either. The next question is, are you still in touch with any of the Dance Mom girls? And that is so funny that that is yeah. one of the questions because they're actually coming over in a half hour. Yeah, I was gonna say, <laughs> they're gonna be here like any minute. Yeah. So yes, we are. Maddie, Chloe, and Nia are coming over. Kendall is in Pittsburgh, I believe. So she can't Kenzie's make it, Kenzie's always doing her thing. She's got Friends. a song out, so she's celebrating. But we all are still very close. I feel like you see them more than I do because they're mostly in LA. But like I see Nia and stuff when she's in Pittsburgh, but oh, they're the usually so going sweet. back and forth. So, but yeah. yeah, we all are still close. We're pretty much like sisters. It's like, even I know you guys are always like, why don't you hang out more often? It's like one of those relationships that we can go a year without talking. But yet it's if like, I called any one of the moms or the girls, they would do anything for me. Yeah, it's and like I, never And left. it's reciprocated. <laughs> yeah, it's same way. Um, and then the next question is, do you miss dancing? 
I'm gonna say I personally do not. I don't either. Okay. Yeah. I didn't know what you were gonna say. Yeah. I love watching people dance, but yeah. I got burnt out. I mean, dancing that often just became not, it became more of a job for me than Yeah, uh, having like, to do it that often. And I feel like also just getting like teared down so much. It was like, once I was done with it, it was like, okay. I need to do something different. I did yeah. volleyball and I, I did volleyball in middle school actually for like two years, but like doing something different was very fun for me. Let's just face it, she joined the volleyball team so she could get the t-shirt and sweatpants. I, I was I was a bench warmer. But I did that I, for track and field it. too. So I can't say anything. Yeah. I wish I didn't get burnout because I did I loved it at one point in my life. I mean, but. she was like the biggest contortionist ever when she was little. She was like the star. But I think like, when you get older, it's just... Toes. Just kidding. I actually can. I try to, like, keep up with my flexibility as much as I can. I miss, like, when we were on the show, like, being in the hotel rooms and that kind of stuff, but not the actual dance. We really, all we'd do, we'd give each other massages in the hotel rooms. We'd be well, making video would, stars. Yeah. Like, <laughs> we had so much fun, though. We did. We did have a lot of fun, and I wouldn't change it. But I do, I do think if we did it now well yeah we went we traveled like everywhere and it, it's like it's like i was like i've been to like basically every single one of these states but, but like i, I couldn't sense. tell you what it looks no, like like in austin i just went there to visit a friend and i had been to austin before but i hadn't actually been to austin i basically yeah. considered that my first time being there because yeah. i didn't see anything outside of my hotel room which yeah. is unfortunate but hey just gotta revisit them all again yeah true nothing wrong with that no, definitely not. <laughs> it would definitely be me. Um, maybe. <laughs> oh, she's like, I don't know. She knows. She knows. I can't know. I feel like I talk to her more. I talk to her more. No. It definitely used to be you. Still is me. I don't know. I think she likes me more now. <laughs> Favorite thing about you? Tell me, tell me. Tell it's me more. It's probably that me more. you're very responsible. That's it. <laughs> That's what you're Like, you keep me in check. Like, well, first of all, I thought my flight was on Monday, and she calls me when I'm in West Virginia, and she's like, you do realize your flight's tomorrow morning? And I'm like, nope, I had no clue. Like, so I had to quickly pack, had one of my friends take me to the airport early the next morning. So, like, she keeps me in check, and I feel like... She's, you're very honest with me. You like, if I, you, I show you a picture, or you don't like my hair, like when my hair was super long, you're like, it looks like a horse's tail. But like, you're very honest. So I, I like asking you, I send you my Instagram pictures because you're always looking out for the best in me. And like, you'll be honest if like Cheer something's up. not Cheer good. You know what I mean? But like some of my friends, they won't want to like tell me, oh, that's ugly. Like your hair doesn't look good, but like, yeah. you'll be honest and very like look out for point. me. Yeah. I feel like mine definitely, goes off of that as well i feel like i mean you're my sister i feel like i can come to you with anything if yeah. i'm struggling with something or even i'll even talk to her about boys i'm like yeah. can you talk to me and get me like i know he's not good for me can you tell me yeah he's not? and she's like yeah. no you're better than yeah. him and i'm like I'm like give me your phone you're not texting him and it's like one of those things that it's like we're more than si like we're Sisters because we have to be, but yeah. we're also friends because we like chose to be. Sisters by chance, friends by choice. <laughs> <laughs> no, but and same with her. Like I feel like I do. I send her five hundred Instagram yeah. pictures. I'm like, can you please heart the ones you like? Which one should I post? It's just I feel like it's nice having a sister because yeah, they'll be mean to you, but they're oh, yeah. helping you in the end. They're definitely looking out yeah. for the best. I for, sometimes I'd be like Brooke, like that was so rude, and then I like I look at myself and I'm like, okay, wait, she mm. was right. <laughs> I should probably change my hair. <laughs> and like, if we ever get in an argument, it's literally I feel like I see this on Twitter all the time. It's like I hate you. You're the worst sister ever. Want to go get Chipotle? Yeah, like, like <laughs> your text where it's like, <laughs> is that I my hate shirt? you so much? And then it's like, okay, like want to go to Chipotle? <laughs> yeah, like want to yeah. come. <laughs> So that's yeah. how sisters are. I mean, if you have a sister, I you bet know, it's the same thing. You know, you can thing. relate. Yeah. But yeah, so I think that kind of concludes all of our questions. Yeah. Maybe we'll do another one soon because I'll be home for the holidays and we'll be spending more time together. So actually comment what kind of videos you want to see from us both together. Yeah, because I'm going to be doing some on my channel too. So we need lots of new ideas Yay. for what you guys want to see. But thanks for watching. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to her channel. And hers. Bye. Bye.